Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style or what your budget is, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, a fun knit top. We have covered a lot of really great skirts and pants in this series, including the one I posted yesterday. So I wanted to give you another option that you could wear with them if you have a little bit of extra time to sew before your big event. I went searching for something fun and special, but also a really quick sew because I get that we're getting short on time. So let's see what I found. All right, so here's my idea for a fun, unique, interesting little knit top that you can wear with a lot of the other um, bottoms garments that we've been making this month. I found quite a few examples of these like asymmetrical, cut out type tops that I think are beautiful ways to kind of accentuate uh, the other garments that we've been making. You can tell that they range from things that are very, very close fitting, almost like a bodysuit, to things that are a little bit loose fitting, like a regular t-shirt. The cutouts are sometimes extreme, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, sometimes they're really deep, sometimes they're not. But this one was my favorite. It is from Target, and I love that it's two-toned. Something about that just made it seem a little bit extra special. And whether or not you do the two-tone or not is obviously up to you and up to what the bottoms are that you're wearing. But if you're making like a plain pair of like black, like a black pleated skirt or something, this would be a really great way for you to jazz up an otherwise kind of simple skirt or pant. You don't have to do separate colors. You could even do like a sparkly knit and then like a matte knit. Um, so think about maybe um, color blocking or print blocking or what, shine blocking um, your fabrics just to give it a little bit of even extra, extra interest. The pattern for this, you guys might already be picturing it. It's Simplicity uh, 9679. It comes in misses. It also comes in women's. So you can see that here. This is the version with two sleeves, which is what a lot of ours had. A lot of our inspiration had two sleeves. So that is the version that I would recommend. But I also do believe that this version with the sleeve but it still comes off the shoulder more like this one um that one i think is really beautiful and cool as well um just showing a little bit of extra shoulder you know what i mean all right so these are described as asymmetric cut out along the shoulder for a sleek silhouette look top features long gathered sleeves with bands long straight sleeves and sleeveless options here are our line drawings so this area here is where you would color block. You would do all of this out of one color or sheen or print, and then you would do all of this out of the other one. This version here that has the little mock neck, um, you can see it has a little bit of like a mock neck added on. It is being a little bit tugged on, but I do think that that is an interesting touch. You could easily add that kind of band to any of these versions here you would just add it on right here. Instead of doing what I'm assuming, I, I'm guessing they're doing a, just a regular hem around all of this, um, but you could add that little mock neck bend, uh, band and I think it would be, you know, another interesting element to the top and would give you something that looks a little bit more like this. Speaking of this, I did go for rib knits um, to suggest, I just think that they are comfortable, they're warm, they're very stretchy, they're very flattering, um, and I just think that they are a little bit easier to, they're a little bit more predictable in terms of what you're gonna get whenever you're shopping online. But if you do want just a cotton jersey, you can find those pretty decent versions of those online as well. Like a good mid-weight mid one would be nice. These are all not 
cotton though. These are nylon spandex is this one. So it's going to have that like slippery feel. This one I'm pretty sure, yeah, rayon um, elastane. It actually has kind of like a, can you see how it's kind of shiny? This one here is a poly elastane. So a stretch polyester knit. Um, this one is also ribbed. It's just a very, very like baby, baby rib, I guess. Um, this one is made from knit material. <laughs> so that's all we're going to get on that. Oh, wait, just kidding. It's a rayon poly right here. Rayon polyester blend. Uh, quite a bit of polyester in there. And then this one is probably some kind of jersey. Um, it just says polyester. It doesn't give us any. Obviously, it has some kind of stretch in it, but they're not telling us that part. Um Okay, so I found a couple to choose from. This is the Stylemaker Fabrics Classic Thick Cotton Ribbing in Heather Gray. A ton of colors it comes in. It is a cotton poly spandex blend, 57 inches wide with a 50% stretch. Two by two rib is for form fitting knit tops, which is exactly what we're making. Um, and then easy to care for. So a ton of colors here. We've got this beautiful red one um, and you can match it maybe with a green one that might be a little bit holiday specific, but you could do some really fun um, mixing and matching with colors here with all the different variations that they have. Even if you did like a wine and a cranberry, like the reds together, that would be really pretty. I think that salmon is really pretty with cranberry right? So you can imagine those two together. So you can go tonally, you can go opposites attract, you can do lots of different things. Um, I also found some from IC Fabric. This is their organic cotton two by one rib. So it's a bit finer of a rib knit. It's $8.75 by the half yard. So it's really $17-ish dollars. So not that much different than the Stylemaker price. Um, but it comes in a lot more like muted colors. Like you can see their red, their version of red is more of like this burnt tawny color. Um, they have a lot of the, like the purples, um, a lot in this like, you know, earthy tone type of category. So I wanted to throw this in because of the additional colors that you will get. Um, this one is cotton span, rib knit, milled and dyed in the U.S., 52 inches wide. Um, organic cotton, proudly milled in the U.S. So lots of great things to um, point out about this particular fabric. So a either one of these would be great options for our inspiration. Um and then any of these versions that you like, I think would be really great. Um, like I said, to pair with some of the bottoms that we've been wearing, um, that we've been making this month. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this fun cut out top sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a really quick and easy to sew faux fur vest that you can throw on top of any and all of the outfits that we've been recreating this month. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing and I will see you all very soon. Bye!